Hey, welcome back to Mount Pleasant Farm and the creepy Mount Pleasant Farm cellar. Okay, you'd look this bad too if you were almost 200 years old. Anyway, today we're going to be uh, changing out a whole house water filter filter cartridge, and I figured I'd bring you along in case uh, you've never done this before. This is how I do it. There's, I'm sure there's a thousand different ways to do it, but this is how I do it that I found the easiest. So this is a whole house water filter. We have a large whole house water filter here. And you see there is a, this is the inlet side over here. And this is the outlet side going to the house. What I found to be the easiest is to first close this inlet side, and then I'm going to go up, upstairs and bleed the water out. So go ahead and close it off. It's kind of stiff. Probably break it off like I did the other one. Okay, so that's closed off. Now we're going to go upstairs and uh, bleed out that water pressure. If you've got a well and pressure tanks, it may take a minute to get down, but just turn your turn your faucet on or whatever you want, shower or whatever. Let it run a minute until it seems like it's getting kind of slow like this. It'll eventually just stop, but this can take a while if you've got pressure tanks. We have two pressure tanks for our well, so it takes a while. But you want to get some of the pressure off. This makes it easier to get that bowl off. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off, and then we're going to head back down. A couple things to have ready when you're doing this. You want the uh, filter wrench standing by in case you can't get it off by hand. You want, of course, a replacement filter that's the proper size, and I keep food-grade silicone grease around. And I'll show you in a minute, but this is to lubricate the O-ring, because a lot of times you don't lubricate that O-ring inside the filter. It's not going to go on all the way, and it's going to leak. So, But remember, it's got to be food-grade silicone grease. Don't get regular silicone grease, because then you'll be putting poison throughout the your plumbing in your house. Food grade silicone grease. This is readily available at Amazon or any plumbing or hardware store. Okay, so we went ahead and uh, drain the water out of the bottom. You'll have a, you'll have a cap like this. You'll have a cap like this. Drain the water out of the bottom. It'll come out. Get these things closed. It'll take a minute. It might try to siphon a little bit first. You just kind of tap the bottom like a habit trail bottle for a hamster, and it'll start pouring out. Once it's drained, break it free with your filter wrench. Chance are to be a little bit stiff. Okay, all I gotta do is break it free. That should, there we go, start sliding off. Unscrew it. Okay, inside you'll have your filter element, your cartridge. Pull that out, set it aside, you don't need it anymore. You notice inside, there's an O-ring, this blue O-ring, okay? Every time I change out a fil uh, swap a cartridge, this has got grease on it. Silicone grease, food grade silicone grease, okay? This is important because it keeps this thing sliding evenly on the mating surface inside, so it'll, it'll not leak. Just make sure when you grease this up, food grade silicone grease. Right now this feels really greasy right now, so I'm not going to put more on it. But uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, food grade silicone grease, if you've never done it, just pop this seal out of here with a small um, screwdriver. It will just pops right back in, but grease it up really well, put the seal back in. Next is getting a, get our new filter in. Alright, there's a new filter. Got seals in the top and bottom. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of that grease, that food grade grease, and just put on the top and bottom of these seals. Drop this in. Make sure that seats all the way. It'll be a fitting that comes in the inside. There you go. Fits in. So we'll take this and get the thrush back up in there. Keep in mind, this goes in hand tight. You should not have to wrench tighten your filter bowl back on the filter body. Okay? If you do, there's something wrong. Chances are you need to put some grease on there. Whatever. So, <clears throat> hand tight. Don't forget to put your bleeder cap back on the bottom. So we'll also have a... It's got a little rubber seal on there. Make sure it's clean. Doesn't have a bunch of grit or whatever on it. You know, if you've got a well system like this, you get sand, you know, grit, all kinds of stuff coming up in there. Okay, so that's on. That's tight. This is tight, so now we're going to check for leaks. A little, a little more light on the subject here. So right now, we're going to go ahead and open up this side to the house.
Okay, the side of the house is open. Got a little bit of backflow, and I'm going to open up the main side. See that water coming in there, filling up? It's all the way open now. You can hear it going up in the pipes. Looking for leaks now is the main thing. Looking for leaks. Well pump back on. No, nope, I see no leaks. No drip and no leaks. But this is why I always keep a bucket of water in here. Take this bucket, empty it out if you did all the stuff. Be right back. Put that bucket back in place. And come check on it. Come check on it the next day. Make sure it's not leaking. The bottom of that bucket should be bone dry by tomorrow, I would guess. And that, my friends, is how you change out your uh, whole house water filter cartridge. You saw I did not tighten that back down with a wrench. It's not needed. Okay, so for that silicone grease, that food grade grease, I will put a link in the description for the video so you can check that out if needed. Um, take these kind of days. Today it's rainy here in Maryland. It's kind of drizzly, blah day, so I try to save these days for doing indoor chores that I don't normally have a chance to do. So I'm doing filters today. I just did the water filter, and I'll go inside and I'll change all of the air filters in the house, which there are eight total. And then, uh, you know, maybe I'll hang some pictures or whatever, but pretty much the outdoor stuff is, uh, is done, at least for today. Um, hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you like what you see, please like, please subscribe, please share with your friends, and as always... Keep getting after it.